What's going on guys? My name is Suboptimal and today we're going to go over the most optimal way to learn new technologies, whether it's front end, back end or database. So why am I making this video? Well, last week I wanted to learn React with TypeScript, but I had no idea where to start. I tried reading the documentation, but I got too bored and I started wasting time on Reddit. I tried building a project from scratch like everybody recommended to, but I didn't know how to Google any of the questions that came up. And I finally tried watching hours and hours of YouTube, but I didn't really feel productive because I wasn't coding and I was just staring at a screen trying to understand things. Truth be told, it took me way too long to figure out how to learn React. React with TypeScript. And if someone who's had two to three years of engineering experience struggled with learning a, a technology as simple as React, then I'm sure a lot of you guys might be facing a very similar issue when you're learning something new. So I wanted to make a dedicated video for you guys uh, explaining how you can pick up new technologies really quickly within just about one week. And it's also a video for myself in the future because I know that if I don't formalize my thoughts on how to do this, I'm gonna be making the same mistakes over and over again when I'm learning the next technology. So let's get started. The ideal person who is watching this video and getting the most out of it is someone who has taken intro and data structures and also has familiarity with things like HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. As long as you are one to two years into your computer science education, you should be able to utilize the framework that I am putting out in this video. And I do want to say that this framework works pretty well for full stack technologies. In my example, I'm going to be specifically talking about React and and TypeScript, but at the same time, you know, if you wanted to sort of replace what I say with other technologies like Django or Postgres, pretty straightforward. The knowledge inside of this video is pretty transferable to different technologies. The main objective of, of this talk is to give you a framework for learning new technologies so that you can learn it within one week. Now, it's not going to work for every single technology. Like some languages, for example, are really difficult to learn. For example, Rust is a language that is known to take a couple weeks to learn and get good at. So it doesn't work for everything. But a lot of the web technologies that you might know or you're familiar with, you can basically learn them within one week. And here here's how you can get started. The main outline of this talk is that there's three steps to it. In one week, you're going to be doing three things. First thing is you're going to prepare. Then you're going to plan a project and then you're going to execute on that project. So this is the three step process. And so let's get into it and see how it works. So the first thing that you got to do if you want to learn a new project, maybe next Saturday or on the weekend, is you got to start on Monday and you got to start from Monday through Thursday and you got to be prepared to spend about an hour a day watching videos. Can you believe it? Like I'm not telling you to code. I'm not telling you to open your editor. You don't have to do any of that. All you got to do is watch videos or read blog posts or anything of that sort. And basically what you want to do is search stuff on YouTube and Google and just look up the new technology. So in my case, I wanted to learn React. So I'm going to search in Google, what is React? And you're going to automatically see some suggestions. You're going to see what is React? What is React Native? What is React JavaScript? What is React Redux? So in my, when I first started, I didn't really know much of anything, right? So I don't know what React Native is. I don't know what Redux is. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to watch a ton of these videos, kind of get a general understanding understanding of what these technologies are. React Native is used to build mobile apps. React Redux is used to manage complex state in an application. You can run React using NPM. You want to be able to build this like one sentence explanation for a lot of the technologies related to React because what it's doing is it's building this sort of map inside of your mind. This might seem like it's a waste of time, right? Like you're just watching videos and reading blog posts. How is this helpful? But it's actually really helpful because it'll help you know when you're actually running into problems which 
questions you need to ask. You don't, you won't know everything about React Native, but what you will know that if you're looking to uh, looking into how to manage state, React Native is not the answer because React Native helps you build mobile apps, right? You have this one to two sentence definition of all these technologies before you ever start. And so it'll help you narrow down the amount of time that you spend in the future when you're actually coding, when you actually have questions, right? You want to narrow the amount of time there and you don't want to waste all these uh, excessive hours googling things that are completely irrelevant. So that's the point of the prep work that you do. You're going to spend four hours, almost 40% of the time, just doing prep work, just learning React, kind of just getting uh, assimilated with the language and understanding everything around it. Now that you've prepared and you have a mental model of what the technology that you're learning is all about, some technologies that are related to it and things like that, um, then you have to spend a little bit of time planning. So for me, this was me doing a little bit of research on some APIs that I want to work with. I knew I wanted to, when I was learning React with TypeScript, I wanted to build, you know, anime scores on the screen and just do a little bit of UI with Tailwind CSS. So React, TypeScript, Tailwind. I knew that was the stack that I was gonna work with. So what I did initially was I just, you know, Googled how to set up React with TypeScript, how to set up React with Tailwind. So doing these Googles and just doing this like exploratory search is gonna help me prepare my project so that when I'm actually coding, I'm not running into these like setup issues because those issues, trust me, they get to you and they are not fun to debug planning how to create the project, planning which API you want to use, and making sure that the data from that API is valid, and also planning how far you want to go in the project is very important. These are all like the things that you want to spend, you know, an hour or two on, and it's good to do it the day before you actually code, because then you'll have this sort of idea in your head. Just make sure you have everything set up so that there's not going to be too much hassle on the weekend when you're actually coding. Now you got to code the project and it, it's at this point that you kind of just have to push through. Like, yes, the code that you might write is going to be really messy and there might be a lot of like hard coded stuff in there, but you got to just push through and accomplish the project that you set out to code. And it's at this point that you may actually want to start reading more of the docs and maybe even watch some of the actual like long form tutorials. But again, the good thing about this is that when you watch tutorials from say, for example, the Net Ninja, you won't need to go to the introduction. You won't need to know how to create a React app because you've already done that prep work Monday through Thursday, right? You've already seen React apps. You've seen React in action. You know, you Set up your project on Friday. So all the annoying issues are, you know, out of the way. And now all that's left is to code. You're going to be Googling things that is much smarter than just being like, what is React, right? Now you're going to be like, okay, I have an issue with managing my state in React. And I, I know that this has to do, I know there's something called React hooks, which helps you manage state. Let me Google React hooks state management. So again, this smart Googling is going to save you so much time and you're not going to feel as much stress because you've already done the prep and you've planned and you've basically went through the hurdle of setting up your project. So preparing and planning is almost as important as the project that you build out yourself. Make sure you finish the project. And once you do that, now you're going to feel confident like, hey, I made something with the new technology that I'm working with and I did it in a week. And, and then you're going to feel confident and you're going to feel confident to work on bigger projects. All you got to do now is repeat the process say that I've built my React project and, and now I want to deploy it. Then I might search up how to deploy React app on Google. Again, it's coming back to that preparation process. Monday through Thursday, I'm going to just do a little bit more pre preparation. I'm going to learn about how to deploy React apps. I'm going to realize that, hey, there's a lot of different options. There's things like Google Cloud, there's uh, DigitalOcean, Heroku, you know, you can deploy your app in many different ways, but I don't want to be stuck doing all that Googling the next time I'm coding. By the time I'm coding, I want to exactly know what I'm already doing, right? 
I want to already have done all the research and I also want to have planned on that, you know, that next Friday, how I want to deploy my app. I'm going to deploy my app using Heroku because it's free and easy to do. And then on that Saturday, where I spend the next four to six hour block, I'm just going to figure out deploying React with Heroku. I mean, that's how I would suggest that you go about to learn new technologies, whether it's React or Node.js or uh, Vue.js or TypeScript, any new technology, just start from the center, do like basic Google searches and using those Google searches, just watch a ton of videos in the week, plan out a project on Friday, and then execute on the weekend. Um, so yeah, that's going to be it for today's video. Hopefully you guys now have a small understanding of how to learn new technologies. Um, let me know what you think of uh, this approach down in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, then feel free to hit the like button and consider subscribing for more suboptimal content just like this. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys next time.